Hi everyone, my name is David Ferreira, I'm a physics engineering student and I'm going to talk a little bit about simulating quantum computers with Feynman sum over paths. This is a work in progress being developed for my master thesis alongside Dr. Ernesto Galvão and Professor Luis Paulo Santos. The goal of this simulator is to evaluate the probability amplitude of obtaining a given output state, given a circuit, and an initial basis state. In this example, we will use a quantum circuit with depth 3 and 3 qubits. The initial state is 0, 0, 0, and the output state is 1, 0, 1. A path, omega i, connects the input basis state with the output basis state, contributing with an amplitude. So, a path is obtained connecting the initial state to an intermediate state after the first layer, then to another intermediate state after the second layer, and so on until the output basis state is reached. Every layer contributes with an amplitude. The total path amplitude is given by the product of all layer amplitudes. The amplitude we want to find is given by the sum of all possible path amplitudes. For a circuit with n qubits and depth d, the number of paths is equal to 2 to the power of n times d minus 1. In this example, there are 64 different paths. Many paths give a null contribution to the sum. We see here that due to the effect of the x gate in the first layer, and since the initial state is all zeros, any path that is obtained connecting the initial state to an intermediate state with zero on the second qubit will have zero amplitude. We're interested in computing only the path amplitudes that effectively contribute to the path sum. To do so, we propose a method for distinguishing intermediate states that are fixed at the outset and intermediate states that are not. To achieve this, we sweep the circuit forwards from the input, identifying intermediate states that are fixed due to fixed global circuit input and output configurations and non-branching gate action. We paint them green. The remaining intermediate states are painted red. We repeat this step, this time starting at the output and sweeping the circuit backwards. Then we apply the logical or between the two color schemes in which the green can be thought of as one and red as zero. At this point, we identified some green bits with fixed values. The amplitudes of all gates that have both inputs and outputs green can be computed once and for all. Multiplied together, they will be a multiplying factor for the overall amplitude calculation. Finally, we iterate over all possible values for the intermediate states that are painted red. In this example, there are only two. This means there are no more than two to the power of two paths that contribute to the overall amplitude out of a total of 64. Currently, we're working on optimizing the algorithm and minimizing the number of paths we need to consider, taking into account properties of the gate set and global characteristics of the circuit. The simulator also has the advantage of using very little memory and of being highly parallelizable over many CPU cores or even GPUs. Thank you for your attention.